What if I could only have three ocarinas? I frequently discuss new ocarinas and share my collection of over 50 instruments. It's a lot and for most people, very unnecessary. But from my collection, which ocarinas would be most necessary for me? Today we'll discuss my picks if I could only have three ocarinas, then two ocarinas, and then just one ocarina. After that, we'll discuss what an ideal minimal ocarina collection of three to five or six instruments might look like for you. And before we begin, make sure you subscribe to consider checking out my Patreon. Let's go. We'll begin with a few honorable mentions. First is the Virtuoso Double by Spencer, as well as the Spencer Ocarina of Time replica, as well as a plastic 12-hole Alto C. I'm a big fan of the Night by Noble, but stuff like the Bravura and the Osawa are equally as good. These are all fantastic options and some of my very favorite ocarinas. But this video is about if I could only have three. If I could only have three ocarinas, the first one I would pick pick is the Claudio Colombo Bass G that I use in Okabanda. This is fairly self-explanatory. When I play in Okabanda, this is the ocarina that I use. So if I didn't have this ocarina, my ensemble days would be over, probably. The range on the Clackle Bass G is quite limited as it's only an eight hole, seven holes on top, one thumb hole, giving it about an octave plus one full step in range. But it has an amazing, amazing tone and it enables me to play in the ensemble that I love. and you can order it for 180 euro. I don't have the spot conversion for that, but it's 180 euro. Next, we have the Songbird Triple Harmony. This is my very favorite ocarina that I own, and it literally fits into the palm of my hand. It's surprisingly small and portable. Am I in focus? Cool. <laughs> I love the harmonies you're able to play. Yeah, the Songbird Triple Harmony literally feels like it was specifically designed for me and how I like to play ocarinas. It plays so naturally. The second chamber is literally just an octave higher version of the first chamber's right hand, whereas the third chamber is basically an octave higher version of the first chamber's left hand. And if you want the Songbird Triple Harmony, use code ANDY10 on Songbird. You'll get a discount and help support the channel. Link in the description. And I really love the sweet sound, the really, really good breath pressure balance between each chamber, and just like all of that in such a small, compact body. Chef's kiss, mwah. If I just want to jam on an ocarina, the Songbird Triple Harmony is probably the one I'm gonna play. And I'm quite similarly likely to start jamming on my Imperial City Ocarina Triple Bass C. This is probably my second favorite ocarina that I own. It is significantly bigger than the Triple Harmony, and it functions as a more traditional triple ocarina where it's optimizing for extending range. When it comes to extending range for a triple ocarina on an Alto C, the third chamber can get like way too high, at least way too high for what my ears are accustomed to when playing ocarina. This is why I have the triple harmony functioning as the jam fun harmony plus range combo ocarina and use the triple bass C as like the purely range extension big power ocarina.
Like, the range just keeps going. It just keeps going. And you can get Imperial City Ocarinas with even more range than this one. It is spicy. And the Imperial City Triple Bass C is only $150. A Triple Bass C from Songbird or STL would be about $400. And the Imperial City is really good. It's such a good bang for buck. Now that we've covered the three Ocarinas that I would pick if I could only have three Ocarinas, why did others not make the cut? Like the Spencer Ocarina of Time or a Plastic Alto C. Two things I highly recommend all the time. If this video were about if I could only have five ocarinas, I would probably add a plastic alto C and the Ocarina of Time replica by Spencer. But if I could only have three, these are the best musical options that I have. And these three provide me with all the flexibility that I need to play whatever I want. I love plastic ocarinas, but musically, I prefer ceramics. And we're focusing on music here. And I love good ceramic single chamber ocarinas as well, like the Spencer Ocarina of Time replica, but 12 whole ocarinas frankly have limited range. So if I'm limiting myself to three ocarinas, I must optimize for the range and keys that are most useful to me. Two triple ocarinas, an alto C with harmony and a bass C with range. And the ocarina I use most for Okabanda. What if I could only have two ocarinas? What then? Well, I'm not letting go of my very favorite, so the songbird triple harmony stays. So between the bass G and the triple bass C, which do I pick? Well, I guess my ensemble days are over because I'd pick the Imperial City triple bass C. As I briefly mentioned, the Imperial City triple bass C with its full focus on extending range as well as being a bass ocarina is a perfect complement to the more harmonic songbird harmony triple in alto C. And having the harmony focus and the range focus gives me a lot of musical options. Some songs are easy easier or more fun to play on the harmony triple, whereas others I might prefer to play in a lower octave or might need the full range of the triple bass C. And again, if we're focusing on range extension, I prefer having a bass triple ocarina much more than an alto triple ocarina. That's a very nice top note, you gotta admit. On an alto triple, that would be an octave higher is high enough. Rest in peace to my base G in this list. But now we're gonna make another cut. What if I could only have one ocarina? If I could only have one ocarina, if it's an ocarina that I already have, it would be the Songbird Triple Harmony. It's my favorite. I've said it's my favorite multiple times. Nobody's surprised. Or I could say one of my dream ocarinas. And in that case, if I could only have one ocarina, I would probably pick the Osawa Triple AC. My Songbird Harmony Triple is my favorite ocarina that I own. But if I could only have one ocarina, the range that you lose to get the harmony, you're losing a bit of versatility in the music you're able to play. And you might say, Andy, you already have a versatile triple ocarina, the Imperial City Triple Bass. And to that, I say, if I could only have one ocarina, Arena, this cannot fit in my pocket. This shouldn't fit in my pocket, but it can, and it's so small that it really doesn't take up that much space in its padded case in a backpack. The Osawa is bigger than this, but it's still quite small and quite portable. And Osawa is more or less the Stradivarius of ocarinas. It's one of the very best ocarinas you can buy. You get the full versatility of a full range triple ocarina, and it's more portable than a triple base ocarina. And on top of that, most people consider Alto C to be the standard range for an ocarina. If I could only have one ocarina, I'd want it to be in the standard range. Bass C is one of my favorite ranges to play and to listen to, but Alto C is the most iconic range. And it really is a sweet spot for being high enough to like cut through other instruments when performing, but not so high that it like hurts your ears to listen to for a long time. So if I could only have one ocarina from my collection, that would be the song where Triple Harmony. And if I could get it from anywhere, the Osawa Triple Alto C. But if you are starting your ocarina, a collection, which three should you get? First, get a good plastic 12-hole Alto C to learn the basics and then have a durable Alto C to play on while you travel. I highly recommend the Night by Noble on Amazon or the Bravura sold by Songbird. Next, I'd recommend either a ceramic 12 hole or starting to upgrade to a double or triple ocarina. If you're going for a minimalist ocarina collection, that triple should be in the key of bass C or alto C. I recommend Imperial City for the price. $150 for a triple bass is literally impossible to beat. And otherwise, I'd recommend looking through Songbird or Focalink. Next, with your last slot of three ocarinas, actually, let's bump this up to five or six ocarinas. Get one to a few ocarinas and ranges that you want or simply enjoy. Maybe get a single chamber soprano C, ocarina of time replica alto C, double soprano G, or even a contra bass C if you want that. Put me back in focus. Ah! 
I was, how long wasn't I in focus? Oh no. The idea is to figure out the purposes that you want to fulfill with the ocarinas that you have, durability for travel, wide range for performing, and other keys for variety in recording or performing. And I'd say most people can fulfill those purposes with three to six ocarinas on the low end. But it's fun to collect ocarinas. And you don't need a gigantic ocarina collection like me or David Ramos to tick all those boxes for the purposes you want to fill with the ocarinas that you have. I am both a proponent for collecting ocarinas as well as focusing on getting good with the ones you have and not overspending on what you don't need. Spice up your collection with a bit of variety in terms of single versus multi-chamber, transverse versus pendant, alto C versus bass C versus soprano G, and so on, and get tootin'. Collecting is fun, but it can be quite expensive. So as you're starting your collection, be very intentional about the ocarinas that you buy. Only buy what you can afford. Just like I urge you to only pledge what you can afford on my Patreon. Patreon.com slash Andy Cormier. And if you want to see the full extent of my ocarina collection minus a few recent purchases, check out my video on rating my ocarina collection as a tier list. It gets a little intense. And once again, check out my Patreon. Otherwise, leave a like, subscribe for more, comment your ocarina collection goals, watch that video next, and I'll see you next time. Happy tootin'.